Hey denizens of the lair, I got my cat on my back. Let's do this. So for this first project in this series, since we're all cooped up in our houses and can't go anywhere, we've got cats on our backs and coworkers that are tearing the house apart. I figured let's all share a little bit of our own world, the tiny planet. Wait, that's a Death Star. Anyway, uh, it's the closest thing I had to a tiny planet. It's cool. Uh, so what we're going to do from here um, is roll that intro. <laughs> So, the tiny planet is really just a distortion filter in Photoshop. It's called Polar Coordinate, and really all it does is it wraps the image around itself. Uh, but there's a couple things you got to keep in mind. First, you want to start with a 360 degree panorama image. Now, you can do this with your smartphone, but you're going to get better results if you use a DSLR in the widest angle lens you can get. I was using my 17 to 40 lens at its widest setting, 17 millimeters, with the uh, full frame camera, my 5D Mark III. That gives a really nice wide angle image. If you've got a 24 millimeter lens, um, that can work. Also, you want to use a, a mid range aperture to keep everything pretty well in good focus. Um, and then you just rotate around overlapping each edge of the frame by about a quarter to a third of, of the frame. You don't want to completely move off the edge so that those frames, individual shots don't overlap uh, because then Lightroom or Photoshop won't really be able to stitch that into a full panorama very well. Um, so let's go do the shoot and then we'll come back and drop it into Lightroom. That's where I like to start because Lightroom does a pretty good job of blending everything together and making it look like a nice smooth image. And I'm going to get this cat off my back, right? She'll stay here all night. It's crazy. Um, and we'll create this little tiny planet. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to start with the house and just rotate around. Random car driving away. Bye, people. I know, you're going to think I'm crazy. I don't care. All right, so now that I shot that, we're gonna go into Lightroom, create a panorama out of it, and see what happens. Tiny planet at home. Quickity clackity clackity clackity. Tiny planet. Uh, photographer's lair project. Okay. Import. I probably should have set this to automatic or hmm, manual exposure settings. I think, I think I had it on aperture priority, which may change some stuff. Yeah, so the exposure is changing on each one. We'll see how Lightroom handles that. It might not be good. I might have to redo this. Okay, so once you're in Lightroom here with these, you want to pick your series of images from your starting point. So those were just tests. That is actually, um, we'll go with that one. That is where I start. That is where I end. Control G groups them, so they're all stacked. Then you click on that as a ungroup. Select them again and go to Photo, Photo Merge, Panorama. And it'll sit here and do a preview. Preview, preview. You might as well preview, go do something preview, while this preview, is working because it's getting audio. It can take a little yes. bit. Okay.
preview. Generating a preview. Yay, previews. Sorry. Well. All right. That looks like a nice crazy panorama. Let's see what happens. We're going to merge it. Seriously. Hurry up and wait. I mean, it's not like I only have 21 files here that are all, what, 24 megapixels? Yeah. You might as well go do something while this is working, because it can take a little bit. Okay, wow, that took a bit. Now that we have this, um, well, one thing I'm noticing is the tree hits the top edge here. That might cause us some problems, but we'll uh, we'll try, see what we get. Um, I am going to do some adjustments on this, bring those highlights even more. All right, we'll go with that. Edit in Photoshop. Maybe. There it is. Ugh. Okay, so once you're in Photoshop, what you want to do transform, flip horizontal, flip vertical, or you can say rotate 180 degrees. You want it to be upside down, and that seems strange, but the polar, co polar coordinate uh, filter, uh, I think it's under distort, yep. We'll basically wrap it around the upper center point. And if you had it turned around on the sky, your sky would be in the middle. So we click OK. And it gives us this crazy looking thing. Oh, wait. Hang on. You actually need to make this square. Forgot that part. So come into image size. And we just go with pixels, right? So its width is 17200, height is 4256. Unlock it so they don't match. And here's the deal. 4256 pixels is more than sufficient for what we're doing. If you change your height to be 17200, uh, you're going to have an enormous file. So changes this one to match the height. 4256. Click OK. So now it'll give you this weird stretched square. Control 0 to view the whole thing and then run your filter. Distort polar coordinates. Click OK. There we go. That's what I want. So yeah, 
since the uh, tree there was at the very edge of the frame it gives you these weird little artifacts so how do you manage that well I'm just going to come in here with the selection tool control J to bring that up over here now move that Hold down the shift key to lock it in the ratio. All right. Now I'm just going to do it by hand. Screw it. Mask and brush 100%. Tip that. And then zoom in here and go 100%. Switch it to white the X key and I'm just gonna do it like this cuz screw it Soften that out a little bit. So it won't be perfect, but it'll fulfill the purpose of this project. You kids playing at home, make sure you keep that in mind when you're doing your thing. You want either all sky or all white ceiling in your 360 panorama otherwise you get weirdness okay now don't want to do it the other fun part you get is this little pinched center point and you know i could maybe photoshop some of that but i'm not sure how much i really care Control Alt Shift E to push everything into a new layer. I'm going to try a little liquify on it and see if I can't just make that. Something like that. Okay. And just because You don't have to do this part of it. It depends on your image and what you get when you do the rotation. Some of them look fine the way they are. I just feel like cleaning this up a bit because, well, just because. All right. Ta-da. All right, save that. And I want my house to be at the top. So control. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. 
And we come back over into Lightroom. We're going to fake a, fake a nice blue sky. Range mask off, luminance. We don't want it in the shadows. It's a little too intense, right? <laughs> I know, it's gray and cloudy out. Oh well. We'll leave it like that. All right. We'll call that done. Export it. Have fun. There's your uh, tiny planet. Tiny planets. Yeah, tiny planets. <laughs>